Hey everybody, this is Chad from Sticks Blog. I'm Stick and today I want to talk to you about a ditty bag and the items that I keep in the ditty bag. Now to do this I brought a little help. I brought my daughter. And you want to tell them what your name is? Emily. Alright, this is Emily. Um, but anyway, she's just going to help me kind of go through uh, my ditty bag and explain. Now I want to say first off, uh, the ditty bag, I came across a video by Jason Class a couple of months ago and he did a video uh, of a sundries kit. Uh, now a sundries kit is basically uh, just a bunch of items in a small bag, a bunch of the 10 essential items and just a couple of little things and it's just thrown into a bag. It's just a little bit of everything thrown into a bag that you can kind of keep up with and you know where everything is. So I'm doing one and I'm basically, uh, mine's just called a ditty bag, but I just kind of want to go through it and show you the items that are in there. Now like I said, most of my 10 essentials are in here, probably about 6 or 7 of the 10 essentials. Some things I don't have in here, uh, of course I don't have my map in here, I'll be carrying it in a different spot. Uh, I don't have a knife in here, I'll be carrying it in a different spot. And of course extra food and clothes and water, uh, they'll be in different spots as well. So most of my 10 essential items though are going to be located in here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go through here and uh, just kind of show you about each one. So I'll let my daughter Emily just kind of start handing me stuff and I'll tell you a little bit about each one. Let's go ahead and hand me something. Okay. Uh, now first thing I'm bringing is some Benadryl caps, some gel caps. Um, I've got six of them here. Six of these weigh uh, 0.2 ounces and uh, I like to just take a couple of these with me and I could cut them down and make the packages just a little bit smaller and it will weigh just a little bit less but I just bring these with me just in case you know I need them uh, but also just in case I can't get to sleep at night I can take these so I'll carry these and like I say these for six of these is uh, 0.2 ounces so it's not too bad all right the next thing is going to be part of one of the 10 essentials it's just a mini big lighter uh, I just carry this I actually carry a couple of different ways uh, to start fires and this is one of them, uh, but I mean it's always good to have a big lighter just in case you get tired of trying to fool with a fire steel or matches or something like that. You can always just rely on the big lighter. So I carry this, and this right here only weighs 0.4 ounces, so it's not bad at all either. All right, the next item is going to kind of go along with my uh, fire starting skills. I've got two packages of this wet fire. Now this here, this is just some stuff I bought from REI. You can buy it a couple of different places. But this is just some emergency tinder basically. I tear this open and it's a little white square and it, it's very, uh, you just start a fire and it'll burn. I'm not sure how long, I hadn't played with one of these for a while, but um, they're supposed to burn even if it's wet. You know, it's just a little something I can scrape off a little bit of this with my knife or just put the whole cube in there and it's really easy for me to start a fire. And I carry two of these just in case and these are about 0.2 ounces each, so 0.4 ounces for the both of them. Now the next item I have is just some spare batteries for my headlamp. I'll show you my headlamp in just a little bit, but I carry two of these spare batteries and each battery is about 0.1 ounces each, so that's not a bunch of extra weight there. Uh, next I have some roll aids. I have just a couple of roll aids thrown in a little Ziploc bag here. Uh, are good just for some of those mountain house mills and stuff like that, just in case you need them. And next she's playing with is my fire steel. Now I love this thing. I use this to start all of my fires with my alcohol stoves. Uh, this is the Scout model. Uh, this thing weighs uh, one, one ounce exactly. And it's, uh, I really have come to like this little thing. I use it for pretty much 90% of the time I'm starting fires. Next is my headlamp. Now this is a new item and I'm going to do a separate review on it uh, shortly. But this is the Petzl E Plus Light Headlamp. Uh, I like it because it's uh, lightweight and because it has a red lamp. Um, I found out the hard way that it's really nice to have a, uh, a red lamp, especially in a shelter in the middle of the night with a bunch of other people. But also this thing features a whistle, pretty loud little whistle, but uh, no, I haven't sure, I haven't checked the decibels and stuff, but it is as part of the uh, first, uh, the 10 essentials as well. But this little headlamp, it only weighs one ounce with the battery, so you can't get that. Now next, I have, this is just a Benadryl roll-on stick, I carry this. Um, mainly because one time me and my wife went hiking and uh, I was leading and I actually started up a yellow jacket nest in the ground and uh, of course she reaped the benefits of being stung by it. So a Benadryl stick is something that's nice because it's instant relief rather than the pill. So I carry that and this little Benadryl stick here weighs about 0.7 ounces. Uh, next, this is a great item to have in shelters, just a set of earplugs. 
uh, weighs 0.2 ounces and I carry it in this little case just so I don't lose them or uh, just a way for me to keep up with them. It's lightweight and it's real handy to have. Okay, next, uh, Germex. I could repackage this. You can see I've used it quite a few times already, but I could repackage it and it weigh less, but I'm not worrying about doing it. Uh, if I get really, really to where I'm counting my ounces, I might do it, but for now I'm fine with it like this. This little bottle with what's in there right now weighs about 2, 2.2 ounces, so it's not bad either. Nice to have to clean your hands up before you eat this so you don't get sick. Now, like I said, I do carry a lot of ways to start a fire, and this is another way. These uh, REI Stormproof matches are really awesome. Um, I think there's about 50, no, not 50. I can't remember how many is in a box, maybe about 20. But anyway, uh, these matches are awesome. And I'm glad I opened this up because actually I did have another striker that's uh, in plastic. So just in case this box gets wet, I can still strike it. But anyway, uh, these right here, uh, this weighs 0.7 ounces for these and they're awesome. Like I say, you can shove these things down in the water and uh, pull them out and they'll light right, right back up. So they're great to have. Next is just various pills. I have some Motrin, some Protonics. Uh, or I can't even remember what the other one is in there right off, right off hand, but uh, oh, Claritin. Anyway, just various pills I carry in a Ziploc uh, so I can take while I'm out on the trail. Uh, this little thing right here weighs about 0.3 ounces. Uh, now right here I have some moleskin. Thankfully I've never had to use any of it. I've been real lucky with my boots and stuff. Uh, but also I have various size band-aids and a couple little packets of nails for in there. And for this entire thing it weighs 1.1 ounce. Um, this is just some needle and thread. This is some silk thread. Uh, there's 10 strands in there and each strand is 30 inches and then I have, you can't really see it, it's stuck behind there, but there's a straight needle behind there. That's my sewing kit. It weighs 0.2 ounces. And then of course I have my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Now I could probably get a lighter weight toothbrush, but this is the one I decided to carry. It weighs 0.7 ounces and right now the amount of toothpaste that I have in there, it weighs 0.7 ounces as well, so that's not bad either. Um, and then I have, of course, my compass. This is a Silva Explorer compass. It weighs 1.2 ounces, and I took the lanyard off simply because I carry it inside the ditty bag. I don't uh, hang it on uh, my neck or anything like that. And, uh, actually, I use the rope for something else, but um, my Silva Explorer compass. Uh, Ace wrap, pretty explanatory there. This weighs about 2.2 uh, ounces. This is a four inch. And then I have my repair kit for my Neo Air. Uh, this thing weighs about 0.6 ounces, including the bag. Uh, so it's important to have if you're carrying an uh, air pad, you want to make sure you can repair it in case you have to. So that's what I carry this for. And then last, I have my Diddy bag. Um, this is uh, just a, a stuff sack that I got from a pair of rain pants. I bought some Sierra Design rain pants. The stuff sack weighs about 0.5 ounces, but it's the perfect size to hold all my stuff. And then uh, it's also got this little clip on the back of it, just in case I want to clip it on the outside of my pack or something like that where I can get to these items quickly. I can do that, so that's pretty neat. Now I will say I did just buy a Z-Pax Cuban Fiber Stuff Sack to use, uh, but uh, when I got it, I ordered the small size uh, because I thought the dimensions would be close to the same as this. But when I got it and I put everything in it, I wasn't happy with the way everything fit in it. It was a little bit large, so really I think I'll probably order the mini size, which is just a little bit smaller. And I might try that out. Okay, so that's my review on the uh, Diddy bag. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, if not, I think that's everything we got. You want to tell them bye? Bye. All right, thanks for watching. Till next time.